Here a short video to show you how to upgrade your Ego Eye Director 2 using a USB stick onto firmware 1.1. So, first of all, create a USB stick, FAT32 uh, formatted, and then create a directory called polycom directory 2 slash cmd You go in there, you create a directory named update, and after that, in that directory, put in the EGOI Director 2 firmware version, and which you can download from the support website. Now boot up your ear director 2, make sure that the light is uh, solid blue, so it's completely booted. So as you see now, the light is solid blue. Take the USB stick and put that in the back of the unit. So as soon as you plug in the USB stick, you see it's flashing yellow now. So that means the stick is recognized and you're able to start the upgrade procedure. But solid blue, so what you do now is you unplug the power, leave the USB stick, and then we should do it and see the upgrade. So we unplugged the power now, so the Ego Director 2 is booting now. So what it should do, it should boot up again, but now instead of uh, booting up the unit itself, it should find on the USB stick, it should find the upgrade. Yeah. So as you see now, it starts blinking yellow and blue, and that means the uh, firmware upgrade to 1.1 has started. Okay, and after approximately 10 minutes, the light is now solid blue, which means the upgrade is finished. Now, to track if your Ego Eye Director version is upgraded to 1.1. Use a remote because from version 1.1, uh, if you order the bring your own computer kit, you will get a remote with it. And with version 1.1, you should be able to, uh, to control it. So now you can turn on the tracking, you can do manual MPTZ, you can do some room calibration. It's all very easy. Just for example, here, if I hold down the plus sign, and you can look on my laptop to see uh, see the screen. Hold it for seven seconds, I release it. And now it's in manual MPTZ mode. Here, so I'm moving the camera now from left to the right, for example, on that window. And now you can use the plus sign to zoom in. Very, very easy here. Let's say you got a specific whiteboard eh, where you want to fix it. If it's fixed, just use the manual MPTZ. Very, very easy. And to turn it back on again, just hold down the preset button for around 7 seconds, you release it, and then you press the plus sign. Now you press the plus sign, and now it's back in automatic tracking. So you see the camera is now already moving into my direction. You can also do calibration. Again, you put it in menu and PTZ, so hold down the plus sign, so now it will get in that mode for 7 seconds, release it. Now you got manual MPTZ again, here moving the camera around. So to do calibration, hold down the middle button, and then you got a couple of seconds to calibrate it. So hold it down, 7 seconds, release it, and now it's flashing very fast. And in this mode, here, you can calibrate both cameras into the room and set it to the right corner. So as you can see, this is calibration for the room. Uh, depending on how high uh, the uh, the camera system is. So if you 
don't press any buttons anymore it will automatically get out of this mode and it will uh, start working again so turn on tracking again yeah, because now it's in manual and ptz turn on tracking again hold down yeah, the preset button again will start flashing all right and then you remove it plus the plus sign and now the automatic tracking is turned on again and you will see it right away because the camera is trying to find me So version 1.1 will come from either uh, the USB stick or a uh, group series 6.1.2 will give you a version 1.1 for the UI director. So in case you got a uh, group series version 6.1.2, the UI director 2 will automatically get the upgrade to 1.1. If your previously uh, a previous version uh, from group series, uh, you need to use the USB stick method to upgrade and this one to 1.1. .1.